Hi, welcome to Programming with Mesh. In this session, we will get acquainted with the drawer or side menu from left and right for navigating between screens. In the previous session, we learned how to navigate between screens using tab navigation. Another way to navigate between screens is to use the drawer or side menu. We use this command to install it. I run the app to use it. Instead of tab, I create a drawer using Create Drawer Navigator. And I import it from React Navigation Drawer. Now I replace tab with drawer and delete the previous options. Well, now we can pull out the menu from the left side of the page. And as you can see, the two screens we defined are inside it, and we can move between them. Using initial route name, we can specify which is the initial page. By default, the first screen is considered the initial page. Now, for example, I use a screen B as the initial page. I will refresh the app. As you can see, the app opened with a screen B. I change it to a screen A. By default, the drawer opens from the left, which we can also open from the right. To do this, use drawer position and set its value to the left or right. As you can see, the drawer has been moved to the right and will not open from the left. Well, I return to the default value. The type of drawer opening can be specified using drawer type. In back mode, the drawer opens behind the screen. In a slide mode, the drawer opens next to the screen and pushes it aside. Permanent mode holds the drawer motionless next to the screen. And the front mode, which is also used by default, opens the drawer in front of the screen. When we try to pull out the drawer, a boundary is set that is not visible. For example, with a value of 500, we can do this almost from the middle of the screen. We can hide the status bar when the drawer opens, which doesn't happen by default. As you can see, when the drawer is opened, the status bar is hidden. When the drawer opens, another layer is created on the screen. The color of this area can be specified using overlay color. For example, if I choose white for it, when the drawer opens, white will be created from 0 to 1 transparency on the layer. And so is black. We can also use transparent colors to see the screen behind. We can change the appearance of the drawer by using the style. For example, I change the background color. And we change its fits as desired.
The titles displayed for each screen can be different from the name of that screen. To do this, we define a different title in each screen separately in the Options section. I will copy this part to use for a screen B. We can also display an icon next to the titles. To do this, we use the Draw icon, in which we can define a component as an icon. To do this, we can use the image or vector icon. Here I want to use the font of sum we used in the previous session. We had already chosen its name. To define its size, we use the focus parameter to have a larger size icon if selected. To define its color, we do the same. I copy it and use it for another screen and rename the icon. To open the drawer, in addition to being able to pull it out, we can also control it throughout the header. To do this, in the Error Navigator, we use screen options. And inside it, we set the header shown value equal to true. Well, now by clicking on the menu button, the drawer opens. The screen title is also displayed on the header. Using Sweep enabled, we can open the drawer just by pressing the button on the header, and the user cannot pull it out. Also, using Gesture Enabled, we can prevent the user from touching outside the drawer. In this case, by touching outside the drawer, it will no longer close. I return them to the default values. We can display the title in the center and do this using Header Title Align. We can change the appearance of the header using header style. For example, I change the background color. We can change the color of the text and the icon inside the header using header tint color. And we can change the appearance of the title in header title style. We can do this button ourselves. For example, I turn this button on screen A into the menu button. I go to screen A and there I uncheck the previous job. I also change the title of the button to toggle drawer. Now in OnPress Handler, I use Open Drawer in Navigation to open the menu. Close the drawer does the opposite and closes it if the drawer is open. Toggle drawer also does the two operations together. I.e. if it's closed, it opens it and if it's open, it closes it. So there we go. We learned how to navigate between screens using drawer navigator. So in the next video, we will talk about other features of React Navigation. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next session.